Hey, hello everybody. Welcome. This is Indie Fixed again. Uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway, a free track, so a lot of people are showing up for this. Uh, we have 70 laps here. Don't know what fuel is going to look like here. I need to mute the driver chat. Um, we are, yeah, going to try to survive this. Uh, this is my first time doing this race or track combo, so should be pretty interesting. Uh, qualifying kind of sucked. Uh, 12th place, so hopefully uh, it isn't a complete crap shoot. Alright, so getting ready to go green. Uh, looks like we got about 50 laps of fuel on board. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Gonna leave a little bit of a gap here. Green flag, green flag. Inside. Still there, inside. Clear inside. All right, so we're running mix five just to kind of save fuel. We're in this front pack, so we're just gonna try to chill here. All these people just kind of make contact with people. Ridiculous. We're just saving fuel here. That's no reason to kind of go up there and kind of... We're not going to run away. doing an uh, auto club uh, with the uh, IndyCar League I'm in and uh, very surprised to hear from some of the guys in there they were just running half throttle at uh, map 5 the whole race and they were able to save like 
two laps more fuel than I was just kind of lifting and stuff, which is very interesting. That was no caution. That was unbelievable. Wow. That's probably going to be a caution now because they're stacked up going in the corner. Yep, there you go. And we made it about 13 laps in and we are going to pit for fuel. So we just pit it again just to do a quick little splash. You're gonna lose a bunch of spots, but oh man! One lap to green. They want you in single file. Catch the seven car. Catch the eighteen car. That was a crash under caution. This car is off. Time to do your job. Green flag. Green flag. Oh, and that's a wreck. Alright, so that's tires and fuel. Um, just because we're going to be in the back anyways, might as well have tires. Alright, so getting ready for the restart here. Now we're just going to run mix five for a minute and just see how much fuel uh, we are going to need uh, for the end of the race and see if we're uh, we're good where we are. The pace car is in. The guy was sleeping there.
make it a fast guy in front of us, we can kind of just sit here and not save our stuff. We're a lot closer on fuel than I thought we were. Oh, we drove underneath a flying car again. <laughs> Alright, so getting ready for another restart. Uh, we are now P3 after that massive accident. Guy in third place decided to pit. Uh, we are going to run Fuel Mix 1 just to kind of see what's going on with our, uh, our fuel here. Because we've been saving a lot under these cautions and even under the green flag. So we'll just uh, kind of see what we can do here. kind of enjoying the show. There's really nothing we can do right now to force the issue or no reason really to force the issue. Uh, we've got one car behind us. It's a uh, number four car who's uh, going to tag on to this uh, little group here. And yeah, we're well good on fuel. We're just going to dip our nose high to kind of get some clean air on it.
Yeah, we need to not be running like this because we need to be running with some clean air here. They're burning the right front up doing this. Yeah, I don't have really any avenue here to pass them, and I don't really need to pass them because we're just kind of chilling right now. Close to the apron there, that scared me. There's a certain point where we have to go because uh, we uh, there's no green white checkers here, so you need to stay with the front pack and come into like six to go or something. There's a huge risk of the race not restarting, and if you get into the lead with about like two laps remaining, you're in a humongous like advantage. Like I mean, to a degree that is is hard to explain. You can go on the restart. Get 
Alright, well we fucked that. Now we're just pushing now. Not doing good here. We wore our tires out. That green car is really good. I wish I could drive up there. I'm trying to still trying to figure out what he's doing. Cause I can't run down here in sixth gear because I'm gonna push. I almost hit that wall. I'm watching the gap behind me. Still good where we are. Yeah, we're struggling, struggling. We maybe get fourth here, but we have to be like perfect. He's uh he touched the wall. I'm seeing if I can bait him into making a mistake there or something, but no.
I think the green car is going to try to make a move down to the bottom. Oh, yeah. I made a mistake there. And he didn't. Yeah, he gave me the high slide. Alright, this is a white flag right here. That's fourth. All right, we pushed. Wreck, wreck. Ah. Oh. Yeah, he was able to get control there. That was a good, uh, good race there. Still a lot to learn. That is, uh, yeah, we need to learn how to do a little bit more tire management in these. Fourth place has nothing to, uh, scoff out there. Man, I'm like super, super tense. Still not relaxed in these. I'm like cramping up in the hands every time I run these in an oval. Alright, so this was our first wreck on lap 13. Got the number one car here. Number four car comes off off the corner. Kind of gets all net coated together. And number three runs into the back of them. They crash. Uh, this isn't a caution. I remember I made a comment. I was like, yeah, they're going to wreck going in the corner. Because right here, he's going to be going down, and the uh, 14 car is going to slam right into him. It's going to be a big old accident. All right, so this is what it looks like for the 14 car. Uh, you can see here, there's a bunch of cars going wide. There's body pieces. He's full throttle, full throttle. There's a slow car. He's going to the outside of him. He's got it. And he lets off the throttle probably about five seconds. Or not five seconds, probably three seconds beforehand, and just slams into the back of that car. Alright, so we're going to back this up here to a corner before anything actually happens. We were uh, racing this guy in front. He starts pushing up the racetrack. So we kind of cut down here. And then uh, I guess he got too straight off the corner and then he hit the wall. And then uh, this guy behind hits him and they go airborne and... Bam. Both out of the race. This is a funny one under caution. This, uh, this car here is... All of a sudden runs on the apron a little bit and straightens it out and smacks the wall. All right, so this is lap 29. This is the battle for the lead. A 20 car here gets a run. He's going to go to the outside. That other car doesn't want him to go there. So he tries to sandwich him against the wall. And then he gets flown all the way up in the air. He's going to barrel roll down the back straight away. And we're going to give this a watch from TV too. Alright, so this is an interesting little incident here, caught on, uh, going through my replays, or incidents here. This guy goes in the corner, hits his left front wing off, but he also damages the right rear suspension on that 17 car. Quick rewind a little bit to lap 15, I saw a car wrecked, uh, leaving pit road, and this is what happened. You check up, and then he just runs in the back of him. Alright, so this is your race finish coming to the white. Yeah, this, see this bottom car here? He's got the clean air and he's able to hold it on the bottom, so he's able to kind of make these decisive moves. As long as he doesn't give up that bottom, he's not going to really have too much of a challenge unless somebody on the outside can get a really, really good run. The two car there backs it up, backs that uh, five car up, and then gets a run up on the front straightaway, but at the finish line, nope. You can see here at the finish, 0 0.025, uh, six car wins it over the two, and the five's right behind him. All right, and here's your race results. You can tell here that we uh, gained 64i rating, gained some safety rating, which was good because we've been trying to claw back what we lost from doing that Bristol race. We finished fourth overall. You can tell the number one car, he uh, wrecked out pretty early in that big accident. Uh, 165i rating loss. That's pretty pretty massive. So we gained 64. Winner gets uh, 82. Uh, this was top split. This is just a random, you know, as you can tell down here in the bottom right, it's uh, 12 p.m. start. So... Yeah, we've been running ovals all week and we'll continue to be running ovals all week with Auto Club being the Open Series race and the iRacing Series race. So we'll be doing 
I think I calculated 680 miles of Auto Club if I stay on the lead lap for every race, which is a lot. I will also be doing, you know, some other stuff too with Coda and hopefully my Sebring 12 hour stuff goes good. So yeah, hopefully y'all enjoy that. Have a good rest of your week and peace.